Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorial series in content statistics. This is density of states number three. I'm going to talk about scalar space. I'd just like to remind you that I have a website now, universityphysicstutorials.com. So up until now, we've been talking about vector space. So just to remind us, vector space. If we draw, if we're characterizing n space, n vector space. So this is n space, but it's a vector. So we have n sub x n sub y and n sub z. So that is our quantum number in the x, y, and z direction. So in order to get, the, the, it is a vector. So here's the n vector. And say this point here is whatever value of the n vector it is. The question I have is this. Is this vector, let's say it's the same length, and say this is n sub 2, is the vector n sub 2 equal to n sub 1? No, it's not. So this point here is not the same as this point, even if the magnitude is the same. So in order to talk about the, the number of states or the density of states in vector space, we must add up all the possible number of dots or possible states. And that's what we did when we, spo when we spoke about the, the unit cell. But when you come to scalar space, it's much easier because of the following. In scalar space, the direction doesn't matter. So all that matters is the magnitude. So this is n scalar. Once again, n sub x, n sub y, n sub z. The question now I pose to you is, or I don't really, it's not really a question, I suppose. Say this is a, this is a certain value of n, and this one has the same magnitude. Well, then in scalar space, they are the same. They are, they are one and the same. And so is this. And so is this. So in two dimensions, they they sweep out a circle. In three dimensions, of course, they sweep out a sphere. So all the number of states corresponding to a particular value of n in scalar space are on a sphere. Okay? And if you want to add a thickness, you will, you will of course multiply by a dn. So how many what is the where do we go from here? Okay? Now remember what I said previously that the in n space the number of states is the volume. And I've explained that because each state in, it actually only contributes uh, one eighth, I would say. I've, I've discussed that. I hope you can believe that. So going back to our general formula, we said that g sub s is equal to dn sub x, dn sub y, dn sub z. This is the volume in vector n space. But what's the volume in scalar n space? Well, the volume is just going to be equal to the surface area multiplied by a thickness. The surface area of a sphere. Surface area sphere is going to be 4 pi n squared, but multiply by a thickness and we get the volume. So this is the number of, the st number of states in scalar n space. Compare it to g sub s, which was, um, just let me think, what was it in vector n space? I'm just going to put up my notes here, vector n space. Oh, it's just, of course, dn sub x, dn sub y, dn sub z. Okay? So you can see that there is a difference. Of course, this is easier. This is a much simpler thing to be dealing with. So it's often, that's often why we deal with scalar n space rather than vector n space. So I'm going to be using this in my next video. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and you might also visit my website.